All right, boys and girls, you see that right there? You see that little scroll wheel? This is what the new era of bass looks like. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to New Stuff TV, the untechnical tech channel, and your home for the best infotainment on YouTube, baby. I'm your host, Antoine. Give me that thump thump in my ear holes, Richardson, because today we are checking out the Crusher ANC2 from Skull Candy. These headphones are damn near a complete overhaul of the Skull Candy Crusher ANC and the Skull Candy Crusher Evo. Being that they just look different. It's all subtle, but it's a completely different set of headphones aesthetically. We'll get to the, to the sonic value a little bit later, but let's check these things out as far as aesthetics and how they look. Now, it wouldn't be a Skull Candy headphone if it didn't have this soft touch plastic on the outside, which is really nice and always welcome to me. But you can see here that if I hold it back, you can see that the ear cup is actually tilted forward. This is the left ear cup and it's actually tilted a little or rotated, I should say, a little bit forward. Traditionally, they go straight down. Moving up toward the headband, you still get that swivel and the fold action so they can easily be stowed in the accompanied carrying case or you can just fold them up and throw them in a bag if you want to. Going up to the outside of the headband, you get this material that I don't believe I've ever touched before. I cannot tell you what this is. It just feels good as I rub my fingertips on it. Now going into the inside of the headband, you can see this material that I don't think we've ever seen on a Skull Candy headphone before and that's this mesh right here. It's like, it's just this breathable cloth and that kind of tells me that you could use these for working out and it'll dry very quickly and not hold a bunch of bacteria. But if you push up in there, you can see it almost right there. You'll see that little indentation where Skull Candy usually notches out part of the headband. And that allows for people like me, man, the little acorn headed people or peanut headed people to have that. Let me just put them on real quick. I'll show you. <laughs> It just goes up in that little crevice nice and comfortably and it doesn't uh, add pressure to the top of your dome. Now going into the ear cup, you definitely see some changes in your traditional Skull Candy products, man. This looks like a, a bigger hole than your traditional uh, Crusher or even Hesh lineup. And the ear cup, man, look at that. That is memory foam. They've used memory foam in the past, but man, this is the good stuff right here. And this, this leatherette or vinyl that they use is super soft, man. It's just different than what we've seen before uh, from Skull Candy. On the outside of the right ear cup, these are ANC headphones. So you do have some noise cancellation mics right there or for ambient sound. I don't know what they use them for, but that's that right there. Once you turn it up and then you can see the buttons, you see your traditional stuff right here. You got your play and pause, your uh, forward and back track, which also doubles as volume buttons, uh, depending on how you're gonna use these headphones or even program them. And then right here, you have something new, which is a little switch. It's just a switch that bounces back. It's a spring-loaded switch. And this is gonna toggle your ambient sound uh, off and on and your ambient aware off and on. But the left ear cup is where the action takes place. Of course, it's a headphone. So you gotta have your 3.5 millimeter input and then your USB-C charging input. But right here, we get into that sweet spot. This right here is the new Skull Candy Crusher mechanism right there that is the crusher mechanism it's a scroll wheel that also has a button press so you can just press that button to take it up different levels i'll have to show you the app in just a moment but you can scroll up or down to go from zero to 100 or you can just button press to go through different levels and of course you do need to turn these bad boys on so there's your power button now I haven't had a ton of time listening to these Crusher ANC 2s, but I will tell you as a first impression kind of thing, man, they always get me every single time. Let me hit that face. They actually sound way better than I expected them to. I was actually expecting more like a sound of the Crusher Evo because I actually do like that sound, but these, mm, they sound so good. We'll, we'll talk about that as I get through some stuff, but I really want to talk about everything else Skull Candy decided to throw into these headphones. It's like they asked around. It's like they got on Twitter or something and said, hey, what do you want the new crushers to have? And everybody threw in their two cents and they just said, okay, to everybody. They give you literally everything inside of the app and the headphone. Look at this, man. It's a totally redesigned app. It's the Skull Candy IQ app. You get in there, you see your battery percentage, and then you got a list, just a whole host of things you can do with these. Customizations out the wazoo. We got voice control, which I have not set up because I don't use Alexa. It's really uh, Alexa based. I mean, look this. Uh, so yeah, you got iHeartRadio and Alexa. I really don't use Alexa. Google Assistant is my jam. But then you got these button settings. So you can customize the volume, the volume up, the volume down, the, the middle button on the right ear cup and the wheel press to do certain things. Oh man, who does this? I don't, I don't think anybody's really done this before. I think Sony has implemented some slight 
things like that as far as customizing your buttons on headphones, but not to this degree where you can customize what your volume up and volume down button does. This is nuts. So look at this, man. This is a wheel press right here, okay? So we got double press. You can do everything from a, a play and pause next track, previous track, volume up and down. Then you got these fast actions. You can Spotify tap to play. You can take a picture. So you can take a picture with a button press to your headphones. Bro, that's a lot. Let's go into uh, let's go into the hearing modes, okay? So you got these different hearing modes. Right now, you can see I actively have on the state aware function because I really need to hear what's going on out there. And then of course you got ANC and ANC on and off. But to take it a few steps further, you can adjust the uh, the intensity level. Uh oh, man, that's that's like ANC right there. Let's <laughs> toggle that back up all the way. You can take it to ANC, and then you can adjust the intensity level of the ANC, which kind of let me see. It, it almost gives you ambient sound, but not really. It just kind of turns it off if you take it all the way down. But I want to go ahead and just slide that bad boy up because it's ANC. I'm an all or nothing kind of guy. I'm just going to go back to stay aware. And then you can do these voice commands. You can say, hey, Skull Candy. And it just stay aware on. Check this out. Watch it goes. OK, it's, it was already on. Hey, Skull Candy. Stay aware off. Then it just turns off the ANC. Hey, Skull Candy. A and C on. Man, that's that's freaking gangster, man. That, that's gangster. I like that Skull Candy. I like what you're doing there. Let's go back to Stay Aware. Oh man, that is so clutch, man. And it's so responsive. A lot of times, you know, when headphones implement voice commands that are not like Alexa or Google, they usually kind of glitchy and they don't work all the time. This is very responsive. They actually did their homework and refined this before they actually launched it out to us. Then we've got personal sound. Let's look at that. Uh, this is just a personal sound. You can create your own profile. The reason I didn't create my own profile was because the default mode sounded fantastic to me. I did not feel the need to touch any of the EQ or the modes are, it's just fine. Just put them on your head and get your jam on. Oh, mm. So again, as for me, I really didn't feel a need to create a personal sound, but if you're that listener who has to tinker with things, go in there and create your own personal sound. Of course, take a photo, find with Tile. They have not given up on Tile, and I'm here for it, man, because, hey, sometimes people lose their headphones or leave them in the gym or something like that, so you can just go into the Tile network, find your stuff, and catch the bandit who stole your Crusher ANC2s. And I'm gonna save, I'm gonna save this top right one for last, man. All right, you got your multi-point pairing there, multi-point. Everybody needs multi-point these days, man. The headphone companies are listening. Spotify, tap, your EQ. So you got EQ modes, right? You got music, which is what the default is. And I always do uh, do it that way. Then you got podcast, movie, and uh, custom. Custom, they're giving you a five band EQ. And I like the way they do this with the little bubbles. So I played around with it, man, but come on, dog. Come on, dog. Let's get out of there. Let's go back to what uh, Skull Candy intended for us and just put it on music like it, like it comes out of the box. And, and just just rock out there. All right, man. I, I'm thinking these got to be the best crushers yet, man. These, damn. Now let's get into Crusher. Okay, so you see where my intensity level is right there, man. Oh man, it's insane. It is freaking insane. I have not listened to the Crusher Evos or the Crusher A and C OG version uh, to compare them to these yet, but. The bass is, it's not out of control, as out of control as the, the regular ANC. It's its its a refined bass. I like what they've done. They have really improved on what they're known for with the crushers, especially since you go in here and just kind of toggle your intensity level via the app. And of course you got the onboard control right here where you can get even more precise scrolling. Let's, let's see what this does on the app here. Let's see. Yeah, so as you scroll, you go up these different clicks, man. That is so fly. So it's working in real time. And you can just straight up completely disable it if you want to, I see that. All right, so that's there. Why would you disable that? You bought these headphones for a reason. And then you can actually say, hey, Skull Candy, more Crusher. <laughs> You're killing me. Hey, Skull Candy, more Crusher. You can have all the crush you want. So as far as Crusher controls, I really like that they have given you all that other stuff, right? Which is something to be talked about, man. We still need to hang out there for a moment, but 
They have truly refined their Crusher experience within the app and I am here for it. Oh man, Skull Candy, what else is in this app? What? All right, so you can, oh, so they got some more stuff coming soon, man. Download new experiences for your upgrades. Oh, dude, I can't wait to see what they do with this. I love this new app. I love what you're doing there, Skull Candy. You're killing it, man. You're, you're really killing it. So in previous versions, Skull Candy headphones are definitely bass loaded and bass forward, but the Skull Candy Crusher ANC 2 tend to take on a, a slightly different route. Yes, of course, bass, right? Even with the bass slider or the crusher feature off, you still get a nice, like, crap ton of bass, really. Okay, but it's not overly done. It's very enjoyable and very tolerable, especially those who are sensitive to bass. I don't know why you buy these in the first place if you're sensitive to bass, like my wife, <laughs> but um, seriously. The listening experience is really good. You can get a sound signature that is nice and bright, and then you can hear those instruments, you can hear the vocals, and they just come through so clean. To, in my opinion, it's definitely better sounding than what you would get in the Evo. Uh, the, the Crusher ANC, the original version, they, they're still a little dark to me, you know, as, as far as like not really bringing out the brightness and in instruments of the music, but the Evo was good, man. This definitely one ups or two ups or three ups, though, the Crusher Evo as far as like the clarity and the brightness of the sound. Separation of the sound via, you know, the, the haptic bass and everything, it doesn't sound so artificial. You know what I mean? It's they, man, they, they do a good job blending the bass in here, man. It's like, it's real, okay? So you, you definitely get the bass because it's already there anyways. But then they add that, that extra layer of dimension with the headphone with the rumble feature. Oh man, the, the crusher, it, it just, it feels so good. It's, it's like a little little ear massage, man. <laughs> it gets up in there and, and tickles and it goes back in there, man. You know how it does. <laughs> Either way, I'm not an expert in this kind of stuff, but what I do know is some thumpity thump headphones when I hear them. And Crusher, Skull Candy Crusher is the only ones doing this. Uh, and, and they have nailed it, dude. I mean, this is what we got. Let me look back here. We got Crusher, the wire crushers, right? And then we got the Crusher Wireless. And then we got the Crusher A and C, which is basically a limited edition thing. Then we got the Crusher, no, it was the Crusher 360. That's the limited edition. And then we got the Crusher A and C, and then we got the Crusher Evo. And then, is this the sixth one? Let me, one, two, three, wait, <laughs> one, two, three, four. I got five at home. This is six, six versions of six generations of the Crusher. And here we are. They decided to give you literally everything you've ever asked for in a headphone. And mind you, this is like a 50 hour battery life, I think. So there's no complaints on that either. Dude, they give you literally everything and the Crusher base. I am, I'm floored, man. I don't know what else to say about these headphones except they are damn good. If you like Crushers, if you like Skull Candy, if you like bass, hurry up and get them, man. Hurry up and get them. Either way, I gotta get out of here. Y'all keep being good to each other and I'll see you when I see you.